Howdy y'all. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I'm going to do an unbox and review on some heated socks. So my future uh, mother and father-in-law got these for me for Christmas. As I told them, my feet are always cold when it's cold outside in a stand. Uh, I already did a review on those little booties, the Arctic Shield booties that I have. Those worked pretty well, but this is another option, and I'm going to test this out as well. Sometimes this is better if you are going to be walking around because you can't really wear those booties as you walk around because the layer's just not thick enough. You'd tear a hole in them. This would be better to wear if you're spotting stalking or doing something like that. So I'm going to unbox this, take a look at it, put them on, see how warm they get, and then I'll probably do a test in the field and I'll let you know how that goes. It's not super cold here. It's, well, it's 46, which is pretty cold for Texas. But if I go out and actually get to wear these outside, I will update y'all on how well they uh, work. For now, I will unbox them, charge it up, put them on, and maybe I'll walk around tonight or wear them around the house and just see uh, how well they work. And these are the uh, Action Heat heated socks. That is the name of the, the company. It says uh, they have a maximum heat time of four hours. It says it can get up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, so seems a little warm for my feet, but activated by a AA battery. Let's see. It has a little compartment for the battery pack. I wonder how that'll fit over uh, with my boots. Goes all the way up to the calf, premium wool. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is the large to extra large. It says it's good for uh, men's feet 9 to 12 or women's 10 to 13. Alright. So these are the socks. This is a wash bag. So there must be a, a special way to wash these. I'll read through that and let you know. And this looks like the battery pack. So we'll go ahead and open up this. I guess you have a battery pack per sock, so that's why you have two. Let's see how to open these guys. So it just slides off. It looks like each one holds three AA batteries. Seems like a lot of batteries for some socks, so my guess is you're going to want to use these only when you're uh, really cold because you could, you could burn through some batteries. So here we have the socks themselves. These socks are already pretty thick as it is, so even if the battery dies, I think you're going to stay fairly warm in them. It's got a compartment where this logo is you probably can't see it that well and a button and that's where your your battery pack is going to fit in and I'm guessing yeah so it's got a little cord in there for you too uh, for that battery pack on this thing there's an input port there's a LED power indicator light and a power button like I said each pack requires three batteries before washing, secure all wires inside the socks pocket. Snap the button to close. Place socks in the provided wash bag. Wash separately from all other pieces of clothing. Use mild liquid detergent only. Do not use powder detergent. Do not use fabric softener. Do not use bleach. Machine wash with cold, ungentle, lay flat, or hang to dry. Do not put in dryer. So, word of advice, because I've done this plenty of times with other stuff, is... Make sure you take these out before you wash them, but I'm going to go run downstairs, grab six batteries, and put them in here, and we will test them out. So I'm guessing you all can tell based on some of my gifts this year that uh, I'm a little bit of a baby when it comes to cold weather. Because I bought a heated vest myself, I have these socks, and I have those Arctic Shield booties. So let's go ahead and install the batteries. So I would say one thing I wish about these, something like this, would be more of a rechargeable 
uh, battery pack than separate batteries, especially if it's only going to last about four hours. I don't want to literally have to have a ton of batteries on me to be able to do this. I already have to do that for all my trail cameras. So I am going to put these socks on. So they're definitely pretty comfortable. <laughs> oh, well, looks like I put the wrong sock. They have an L. Do they have an L? An L and an R. So make sure you put the right sock on. So like I said, they are fairly comfortable socks. They fit pretty well. I wear a size 10 and a half. Like I said, I think these were good for men 9 to 12. They definitely fit me well. So I'm going to stand up here. I'll put my foot up on the table. And let's see. All right, so it's got this little cable here. Plug it in. And then we'll click power to turn them on. And then you can just... Drop that guy back in there, tuck the cord in, and let's see, snap it back on. So I think I can feel them getting warm already. Let's go ahead and put this guy in. So I'm going to keep an eye on my watch and see uh, when I really can start feeling the heat. Because if it does get up to 140, I'll be able to feel it. So I can feel a cord that runs... That may just be the power. I don't know if there's actually going to be heat running down the side or if the heat's just on your toes. But I definitely feel the cord as I can feel my finger along the left side here. So we'll see once it starts heating up where the heat I can feel coming from. I can definitely feel the warmth now on the first leg. It's only been like less than a minute, so it doesn't take long. What's nice is I think if these fit outside my boot you'll be able to shut them on and off. So if it's really cold at night or in the morning, say it's the morning you first get out there, you're walking so you may not need them, get up to your stand, turn them on when it starts to get cold. As soon as you feel comfortable, you can shut them off. That way you're not burning through the batteries. But yeah, they're definitely getting hot now. So you can see, uh, I mean, that pack sticks out a little bit, which isn't necessarily great, but I mean, you can slide your sweats down over them. If you're wearing pants or camos, you can slide them over them. And I think they would uh, work pretty well. Let me grab my boot and see if it'll fit with my boot. My boots are fairly tall. That's why I was concerned. Looks like my boot will go all the way up to the top. Let's see if it has any issues with it, though. Uh... I think my boot's wide enough at the top that it fits in there. It doesn't feel like it's would cause any issues, but now I put the boot on and there's pressure on that heat pack on my foot. You can feel that warmth. This one's actually on the right. It's the first one I did. And you can feel it's it's starting to get pretty toasty. I could definitely see me using these anytime it's cold, even if I'm just around the house or, you know, out and about. After wearing these for five to ten minutes or so. I mean, they definitely got warm. I mean, I just shut them off and I can still feel a little bit of warmth in them. The socks are comfortable. If you don't even have the battery pack on, I think they're good socks uh, as they are. So even if the pack dies, I think they're still going to keep you warm because they're pretty thick. They're wool. I would say my biggest thing is wishing these were rechargeable uh, instead of triple a batteries but other than that i mean i really like these socks i think they're going to work out well i actually am going to the property uh, for a work weekend at the end of the month and if it is cold i will definitely bring these out there and see how well they work it's kind of nice having these pouches i'm just going to keep the battery packs in here i personally like to unplug anything with a battery in it. I've heard too many horror stories of stuff getting left plugged in and causing fires, especially when it's sitting in cloth. Just my two cents. I unplug it, I shut it off. Shouldn't have to worry about them. And make sure if you wash them, 
that you do take the batteries out. But all in all, I really am a fan of these socks. I am curious to see how warm they actually keep me when I'm sitting in the stand. So if you haven't already, check out my Instagram. I will put a link in the description below. And I am sure I will talk more about these on my Instagram and my stories or on my posts as I test them out more. As always, thanks for watching and see you all next week.